Hello, hello everyone. Uh, this is just a quick walkthrough of the new app um, that I created. It's uh, free to use. It's uh, rule your dot day. Um, this app is going to help you with your daily productivity. I don't know about you guys. Um, I'm, I've, you know, the more projects and uh, tasks that I have on my plate, the more um, I'm going to get I'm getting burned out every once in a while and I do have this uh, uh, rule your day uh, uh, sheet that it has the tasks that I organize my tasks as top priority I personally like to have only three top priority tasks every day and then then I have my uh, secondary tasks that I need to work on now um, uh, I mean, everyone is different. Somebody get the rule of one, three, five, like starts with one top priority. So you get the ability to change this the way you would like. But what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to show you guys what the app does and how it works. Um, first, uh, as soon as you go to the website, it's going to save everything in your cache and uh, on your computer. So you don't have to log in at the moment. No need to log in or saving anything because it's a day to day um calendar or day-to-day -day sheet uh the top priority right here this is where you add your priority and that's going to be your top priority right here and um and then you could choose how uh what category is this basically is it for work self-care family health social others the reason i wanted to put more category is to have more work family balance uh uh, or self-care balance this way you know what you spend your time daily are you not spending it on on family or self-care or is it all work so this way is going to help you with creating a balance in your life and then when you add the uh, uh, let me edit this again so actually I'm going to add a new one there's a new button we just added today and thanks for JP Jordan uh, for uh, suggesting this he would let he asked for a uh, recurring um, task that it's every day uh, so when you press this here which is these um, you see this icon right here the two errors that means these gonna stay there because it's recurring even though if you finish them and you start the new day you're gonna have this as your top priority the same thing if it's a second uh, uh, tasks uh, secondary tasks right here go for a walk and that's going to be your curing every day and um, and w even when you start your new day we also have on the top right right here that's going to be your download your pdf file and uh, thanks for brian frankie uh, ryan keto for uh, for suggesting this so basically what this does is creating your daily progress re report you download a pdf uh, and it has all the information for that day because at the moment we're not be we're not logging in so we don't have any auth or um you know we're not saving anything right so on the top right again there is the um uh the, the time so basically time is very important you need i like to have a big clock in front of me to know where i'm at at the day and that's what the blue circle present basically the 24 hour circle of the um the day so right now it's I believe it's around 8:30 p.m. here, and 8:38, and that's when you know by 12 midnight that's gonna be the full circle. So this way you know how long you still have for the day. And the second one, let's say you finish two top priorities, and that's gonna be the purple one, the inner circle. That's gonna be your top priority and then we have the second secondary priority is the green one the goal is to finish your top priority and the secondary tasks uh, as much as possible and this way it will give you a reading uh, what you need to do let's say i don't have much to do for the rest of the day right here you know that hey let me close at least the uh, top priority circle right here and this way you know i close the top priority i still have the secondary if i have time i'll finish it Right, so what I did add as well, a small celebration when you complete them. Yeah, I didn't add any audio because I felt that's too much. Uh, so yeah, I just have this beautiful uh, celebration 
in, uh, and then what else we have right here? We have the time distribution. This time distribution is based on your timeline. So on the timeline, uh, this is you spending one hour in self-care, two hours on family, and four hours work on this one. And the same thing we have recurring for the, you choose the block you wanna work on, and then you click here, this is gonna be, let's say lunch. You see this is uh, self-care or health, and that's gonna be one hour lunch. And if you want it repeat daily, at that time, at that block, you add it, and that's gonna be your lunch right here at 12, right? That's the daily, the daily one. You could move it to, uh, let's say this is one o'clock, yeah, I need to edit the so it doesn't jump on all the way on top. So we need to keep it in here. Yeah, so this is your time time block. Um, this is how I try, I love to manage my time per hour per blocks. This is a block management time block management, uh, and that helps me a lot to stay in focus. Uh, and here you could add your morning routines basically. In this case, I do have you know wake up and breakfast at five a.m and then breakfast and get Noah ready for school. That's gonna be at six o'clock. And then I have uh, seven, I have, you know, check uh, check emails and fill out the rule, rule your day sheet or your day app. So, I, and then we have the, uh, right here, drop off Noah at school. So this is morning routine. What I like about it, you could add your um, things that you do every day, every morning. So it's good to add it right here and it will stay there. So I'm going to go over a few things and then I'll start a new day and show you how, what to do in there. Uh, the water intakes, uh, this is, uh, you know, staying healthy, following the eight by eight rule, which is drink eight ounces glasses, uh, which comes out to 64 total of water daily. daily. That's going to help with optimal hydration and focus and self care basically. So here, if you'd like, you could count your water intake. And then when you are stressed, you could use this a little bit for as a stress relief. Uh, it's a mindful break uh, with uh, the memory, memory game, which is gonna exercise your brain while reducing stress. Match all pairs with the fewest moves possible. So you could then do this, have fun. I might add more games. I would love to hear your suggestions, guys. What do you like about this? Let me know in the comments what you like, what you do not like, or what would you wish to see on it as well. Uh, it's just it's like an open source project I'm working on right now with, with the community and see how we could help each other to manage our time better and uh, have less stress levels and less burned outs as well. And... Um, the other one, you could have it, you know, whoever likes it as a uh, dark mode. I prefer dark mode all the time on all my tools. Um, and then here, when you start your new day, I do have few plans, but I would like to hear your suggestions. So the new plan I'm trying to work on is when you click on start new day. So if you have something not checked, like not completed, it, it will ask you if you want to move it to the next day or if you just want to delete it, you don't want to do it anymore or you're not focused on it that day. Um, but right now you click this, it's gonna ask you, are you sure you want to start a new day? This will clear all your tasks and time blocks. Click okay, boom. It deleted everything but the recurring one that the ones that you're monitoring your teens and the top priority that you have every day to do on and then you have your uh, secondary tasks right here. Yep, so that's it guys. I would love to hear your, uh, your thoughts on this again and uh, let me know what would you like to see on it